Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey at Ripe Color, and this is Nancy Jean in the Garden. And we are here as the Daily Duo to read on five energies. The energies that we read on are body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I read five cards. Nancy Jean reads five crystals in the garden. We both offer uh, readings. Mm -hmm. We both offer physical goods in the physical world. I uh, make t-shirts and scarves, etc. cetera. And uh, Nancy Jean has gardens and grids available for purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, please join both our sites. And if you're interested in physical goods in the physical world, the information is below. Very good. For those of you who don't know what a grid looks like, I have a couple that I'm getting ready to pack up and mail off. And this one, I think is particularly pretty. It's called Prosperity. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And... Um, the, to get a grid, you need to go to my website. There's a way you can order off my website. It requires a reading. Um, and then we go through the cards. We pick out the form. Then I find the crystals, the correct crystals, to bring forth that image to you. And you take, I send it to your home, and you fire it up and make it go. And it's kind of like a little battery in the background to help you with your intentions. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to toss. Okay. Everybody's in one space, yes. Okay. Uh, for body, I get uh, the nurturer. I get, well, she's also, this is the empath. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like, well, trust the signals that you're getting from your body. Mm -hmm. Trust the signals that you're getting from your body. If it says to move forward, move forward. If it says to stop, trust it. Trust mm -hmm. it. That, that, that's an important part of the whole thing. Um, yeah. Now for your mind, what are you focusing on? <laughs> what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on things that are gone and things that make you upset? Or are you going to turn around and say, well, all isn't lost and I have something to work at and work with. So there's kind of a choice here and it's emotional. Mm -hmm. um, for spirit, there's a real creative energy going on. And there's also this energy of, um, I don't know, for me, it sounds or it feels like, like calling in help to get something accomplished. So this might right. be calling in your angels and guides. This might also be calling in people who can help you, mm -hmm. people who can help you. Um, for grounding, I get there is a new path that wants to, um, did we get this yesterday? A couple days ago. Yeah, we've had, you, um, yeah, it's, yeah, there's this new path that's, that's being offered to you, this new mm -hmm. opportunity, a new clarity, a new, um, sort of easier, softer way of doing things. Mm -hmm. And then for clarity, I'm like, be confident in yourself. Be confident in yourself. Uh, you know, know that it's going to be okay. Know that you're going to get through it. Because I, I feel like there's a little bit of like unsureness, a little, a little, uh, it's like, no, 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 enough of that. Tell it to go on vacation. Get on with what you need to get on with. Okay. My clarity showed up in the third eye and it says you, you need to be clear plans to move forward clarity is part clarity of your own thoughts is part of the plan and then what i have in the mind is let go of your old limitations quit worrying about the past quit bringing up the past um right don't be caught up in that false energy of the past because right. you've got incredible changes going on around you in the near in the future because that's where your body is and it will actually this it will physically appear. This is a this when this stone's here, it means what you've been planning on is going to manifest for you. That's this. And right. And it's going to manifest because we you your spirit is in the right alignment. And the spirit 
is transforming. It's not yet finished, but it's transforming. So you need to keep your eye out so you can move forward. And then your grounding is in water, which means uh, false images are being washed away. Grounding changes that are gonna become part of long-term patterns. Mm -hmm. So what you have here is energy, your body embodying in the future. You have this fight about clarity. The clarity has to come from your own thoughts. If your thoughts get all wound up in the past, it's never going to work. Mm -hmm. So, and your spirit is transforming you and you're creating long-term patterns. So whatever you're working right now on a spiritual, and this really means bringing things into your life, it's going to create long-term patterns. So think about what you're doing, let go of the past. I mean, yeah, it's really a matter of focus. A hmm? It's really a matter of focus today. Just right. Like, yeah. It's a matter of focus. It's, it's the clarity being um, caught up here in third eye. When I, I had a whole bunch of visions about these different spaces on the garden. If you get a garden, you get a little workbook that tells you about it. But when I envisioned myself standing in the third eye, I was in a village full of huts in the water, up in the hill, kind of all different sorts of huts. None of them had doorways or, or windows, but I could see in all of them and I could actually see around the corner. So when your third eye is operating, it's like not obviously right in front of you. It's not, but it's there and you can clearly understand. It's more of an understanding than a seeing. That's mm -hmm. why it's called the third eye. You don't have to, the little rods in your eyes don't have to pick up the image. You know what the image is mm -hmm. and you know what you have coming towards you. But as long as you let yourself be tied to your past, you can't move forward. Mm -hmm. But you're in a place where you can bring forward whatever you want. Make sense? Blessings. Yeah. Blessings. Okay, blessings. We'll see you tomorrow.